There are things I like and dislike about every country in the world. Um, there are a lot of countries that I have no desire to go back to, but I am thankful that I got to visit them anyway. I would probably pick two countries where I felt the most afraid, and that would be the Central African Republic and South Sudan. Any country you don't like? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Gambia. Sorry, people. That's Gambia with a G. Uh, I find it very corrupt. Uh, you get hassled by both officials and ordinary people. There isn't really that much to see. Overall, uh, both times I was there were not particularly impressive. Yeah, Sam, um, Burundi, very difficult to visit Burundi and it's not so nice. I think it is the only that yeah, I have a uh, wrong idea. I have to go there again. Um, the Djibouti. Djibouti? Djibouti. <laughs> yes, um, Guinea Conakry. I cannot tell that I don't like some country because of the negative uh, opinion on this, but just because of uh, rather would I live there or not, yes? And there are a range of countries that I would rather not live in because of infrastructure, like which one? because of climate. Uh, many tropical countries that have a hot, humid climate and lack of infrastructure is, is those that I'm fine with visiting but not staying for the long period of time. Okay. Bienvenido a Sao Tome. Any country you don't like? Generally, I would say I don't like countries where there's a lot of corruption, environmental issues. But if I should pick one country, it would be Nauru because it was difficult to get there, difficult to get the visa, difficult to get, get an air ticket, impossible to call the hotels, and there was not much to see. It was very hot. There were wild packs of dogs trying to attack you. I injured my leg and uh, I had to stay longer than I planned for an environmental exhaustion and they have like small camps for uh, asylum seekers to Australia so it's uh, prisoners and a totally destroyed island. Well, I cannot remember actually enjoying almost every my visit so I don't know, maybe dull Soviet cities or towns built during Khrushchev time but it's like something local to them. My name is Leonid, I'm from Ukraine I have visited 162 country. Any country you don't like? For me, for example, country, it's kind of a uh, line on a map. People, it's really important. For example, Soviet Union was a country. What about nowadays? Can you mention Soviet Union in Nomad Mania list? No, because it does not exist. So this question is just kind of question of the moment, not about the future, it's mostly about the past. And he always yeah. has a new shirt. A new shirt. Yeah. A new shirt. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's always a unique t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Gina Morello. I'm from Dallas, Texas, America. And I've been to all 193 countries. And least favorite countries? Again, I don't, I don't like to pick on a country just because I had a bad experience there. But I try to, you know, put everything into perspective, whether it's a bad tour guide or a bad road, for example. I don't blame the country for it. But I did find Equatorial Guinea to be. Wait, yeah. that just. <laughs> but I did find Equatorial Guinea to be not so friendly and welcoming, and I think that's just based on their, their history. It was a very closed, secretive nation up until recently, so they're not used to tourists looking into their country and taking pictures. And it's also very expensive for what you get. That's what I would say is my least favorite country. My name is Pear. Essen. I've been to 193 UN countries. Any country you don't like? It's tough, you know. I'm not a per I'm not a hater. I'm a person who, who dislikes places, but there are places which are difficult to travel in, and they're uncomfortable. There's a huge hassle factor, but oftentimes they yield the best stories. Like West Africa, Nigeria is the only place for a paid drive in 54 countries in Africa. Travel through Guinea Conakry. So West Africa in general, huge hassle factor. But once it's gone, we get great stories and we leave. You gotta think, the people who leave behind, their life is much rougher than us as travelers who just go over the surface and leave and have good stories to tell. Hi, I'm Britt Marie, I come from Sweden and I have been to all the UN countries and the worst country for me is Equatorial Guinea. Hi, I'm Peter, I've done 185 countries. Uh, I asked my wife here, I can also agree with her on, on Equatorial Guinea. And why do you don't like Equatorial Guinea? 
It's so corrupted. The people we met were very unfriendly, and uh, we had a lot of hassle uh, in many aspects when we were there. So, yeah. You don't. We travel around the country, and you don't feel well. No. You don't feel welcome. They don't like you. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? That's the, <laughs> what they're thinking. My name is Joanne Schwartz, and I have been to 140 UN countries. Uh, as far as don't like. I, I tend to forget about what's bad as soon as I'm home. So I've been in some rough countries that were difficult to go to and uh, actually kind of miserable at the time and I wondered why I was there. But once I'm done, I just remember the good things and the great experience I had overall. So I don't really have a least, least slight country. This is Nomadpedia! On the very bottom of the list, uh, of the long list of countries, is uh, unfortunately three African countries, which is uh, Somalia and uh, South Sudan and Liberia, poor Liberia. I stayed a bit, I tried to find some good places, it was not easy and it, they don't have great things to offer, you know, besides of that, that they're risky. It's not so easy to travel, they have no infrastructure. So yeah, there's not a lot of things to do. So that's why I put these countries on the very bottom of the list. Yes, I, I don't have them. I have few encounters on certain countries where I had some robbery, for example. But to take them out, I don't put the country down for this reason. So they are one-off happenings. And if I mention that, then it's not fair for the country because the countries itself are good. Nomad Mania is a website, you could call it a travel club, uh, but it's more than that. It's a community of engaged travelers. I would say it's unique. Uh, it's not a place where you're going to read stories about travel or you're going to see photos about travel. No. What we do in Nomad Mania is we try to create the ultimate division of the world. So what we've done is we've split the world in 1,301 regions. And for each region, we give you suggestions what to see, where to go, what to do. Uh, travelers complete their profiles and then get a rank depending on how far they've gone. And we've got a lot of different lists. So this is Club 193? It's not just our main one of 1301. We've got many other lists, some borrowed from other clubs. And like that, we create a kind of one-stop shop so that travelers can assess where they've been, uh, they can record their past trips and they can decide what places they may want to visit in the future.